good evening. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. And I'm, on, I'm here on behalf of ICER, the Indian Institute of Science, Education, and Research here in Pune. We're practically neighbors, but uh, we don't get to meet each other so much. So I thought I would take this opportunity to introduce uh, the institute to all of you. Uh, ISA Pune, as some of you may be aware, is one of um, seven such institutes in, in different parts of the country, which have been set up uh, about 10 years, 12 years ago now, uh, to, to integrate science education with science research high level high, or high quality science education and uh, research oriented science education uh, to be integrated with science research, cutting edge science research as it happens at the place it happens. Um, this, was, this was essentially uh, put forth as an idea, or the, the, the idea of having these, these kind of institutions was put forth because it was thought that science education, particularly at the undergraduate level, is getting uh, slightly divorced from uh, the, the, place where, pl the places where scientific research takes place and which is also resulting in uh, a lack of talented uh, young, young people who can come and, and start contributing to research that is happening in the country, which is, a, which is thought to be an essential part uh, of the country's overall development if, if the country wants to progress from being a, a largely um, service-based economy to a knowledge-based economy where we are producing knowledge actively and trading in knowledge and contributing uh, a larger portion of the economy is comprised of this contribution of production of knowledge, which means that we need to have uh, uh, people who are trained in research, who are able to carry out research at the global level with equal competency. And uh, this, this cannot be done overnight. It has to start at the level of training of youngsters to do research, which, is the, which was the whole idea behind setting up of these institutes in, in uh, different parts of the country. And ISA Pune is one such institute. So by definition, by, you can see from the name that we are a science research as well as a science education institute. As an educational institute, we have uh, three uh, programs, educational uh, programs. Uh, one is, of course, the regular PhD program where, where students who have a master's degree can come and do a PhD in various uh, branches, uh, various disciplines of science, which I'll talk about in a minute. The second uh, academic program is the integrated PhD program where students with a bachelor's degree, uh, either a BSc or a BTech, can come and do an integrated master's plus PhD at ICER in one of the disciplines. And uh, the flagship program of, of ISA Pune, as well as all, of the, uh, all other ICERs, is the five-year integrated bachelor's plus master's program, where we take in students who have who've completed their class 12, and uh, they spend five years with us and go out with a degree of bachelor's plus master's, a dual degree, or, or rather a double degree. And um, what is interesting about this program as, is that it, it aims to give students uh, a bit of a bre breadth as well as some depth in, in science. And we try to do that by getting students to study uh, all branches, all disciplines of science for the first two years of their course. So in the first two years of their BSMS program, as it is called, they study physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, uh, earth and climate science, and a little bit of uh, humanities and social sciences as well, because we believe that science uh, needs to be uh, contextualized uh, in terms of society to be able to uh, really appreciate its, its value and its role in society. So they study all of these subjects for the first two years. Uh, and the next two years, they have a full choice of what they want to study. They can choose to study any combination of uh, disciplines. They can uh, combine their a few, few papers or a few credits in chemistry with some in biology, some in mathematics, and so on. So they have a complete choice with respect to what they want to study in the next two years. And in the meanwhile, from the first or the second year onwards, they also start doing small research projects, which they do in the labs of scientists who are also teachers, also their teachers for the bachelor's and master's level. They uh, carry out vacation projects or semester projects, which are three months to six months in duration. And this leads up to the fifth year, by which time they are quite well versed with, with some of the techniques and skills that are required for research. Uh, to be able to take up a full-time one-year research project in the fifth year. So their fifth year uh, is dedicated to a one-year research project which they can carry out either in ICER, in one of the labs in ICER, or uh, outside in, in any of the other labs in the country as well as outside the country. 
and at the end of which they come back and present their work as in the form of a dissertation in a, 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 as a master's thesis, which they have to defend, and then are given a degree of bachelor's and master's. So this is the educational aspect of the institute. These are three academic programs that the institute runs. And uh, of course, as a research institute, at the same time, the teachers who teach these bachelors and masters and uh, PhD students are uh, researchers in their own right. Uh, at ISER, we uh, conduct research in physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, uh, earth and climate science, and also a little bit of humanities and social sciences. And um, uh, there is a wide variety and a wide diversity of, of uh, subjects being pursued. If I can give an example from biology, uh, which is which incidentally is my domain of interest. We have people working on um, uh, questions in very classic and basic biology, like ecology or uh, developmental biology, which basically studies how uh, organisms develop uh, from a single cell to uh, a full-fledged organism, uh, ranging from that to, to really interdisciplinary fields like computational neuroscience, where uh, scientists are trying to use uh, computers and modeling and simulation to understand how the brain works. Uh, to something which uh, like mathematical biology where again mathematics and computation and modeling are being used to understand for example how an epidemic uh, uh, spreads or how a disease progresses from first stage to the other so there is quite a large uh, um, degree of uh, or diversity in, in the in the kind of science that is that is being studied and pursued in the in ISER Pune and I'm sure in all other ISERs as well uh, and the focus has always been on uh, interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary projects because uh, we strongly believe that science cannot be compartmentalized into just chemistry or just physics or just biology. So uh, uh, while there are departments broadly uh, for administrative reasons, there is a lot of give and take between various departments resulting in uh, projects which, which bring in people with various kinds of ideas and various expertise at who come together to, to solve a problem which needs these different kinds of approaches and viewpoints. Uh, so this is what, what, what has been happening in ISER and uh, at the same time outreach uh, and taking science and educational initiatives equally to uh, people outside ISER has also been a very strong focus right from the beginning. Um, as a part of this uh, drive and this focus, the Center of Excellence in Science and Mathematics Education was set up at ISER. And here at the center, uh, we conduct workshops and training programs for teachers at different, different levels uh, to equip them uh, to face the challenges of upcoming, um, uh, of their changing role in the, in the uh, changing field of education. We uh, try to introduce particularly science and mathematics teachers to inquiry-oriented uh, teaching, which means that, that the focus should be on the process of science rather than just remembering facts uh, which sometimes tends to happen at the school and early college level. Um, and uh, of course, along with, with trying to uh, reach out to the educational system, we are very, very keen as an institute to reach out to uh, the citizens and the community in which we are, we are uh, uh, placed. And this, is, this particular set of talks is a step in that direction. Uh, and it's, it's a great pleasure to be able to talk to um, um, a technologists they come to the hotbed of technology and talk to technologists who are basically just complementary to what we have been doing because any high technology do, does not does not come without high science behind it and this is exactly what we want to uh, bring forth to all of you through these series of talks and um, uh, that's which is why we've also chosen diverse fields of of sciences which have which have a lot of crosstalk with technology and uh, today's, today's talk uh, by Professor Shomak Raichadri will definitely uh, give you a good flavor of how science and technology uh, are, are practically married to each other and can't do without, without each other if, if we are to uh, make, make some, some substantial progress in this field. Um, so I'll now invite uh, Mr. Bala to introduce Professor Shomak Raichadri. It is great to have a representation from another institution uh, which is uh, dedicated to work in the basic sciences, Ayuka, and I'm sure Professor Rai Chaudhary will talk a little bit about Ayuka in his uh, lecture as well. Thank you. Thank you.